let me make a little bit of history of uh, what drove us here. Uh, the mission of NADRE, stakeholders, objectives, work plan, expected outcomes, responsibilities, and then uh, the website and manual. So we will start providing you, providing you links and uh, uh, um, uh, references to, to NADRE. So um, everything started two and a half years ago in Dakar, Senegal. Uh, Dr. Margaret actually attended a workshop uh, co-organized by three projects, Saigea, which I've already heard, Tandem and Magic, uh, three European, under, uh, two European funded projects. And this was a workshop on promoting open science in Africa. And the outcome of the workshop and the discussions uh, I had with Dr. Margaret at that time was a decision to make, uh, to, to make, uh, to hold a similar event in Ethiopia in the year. And this actually happened in November 2016. Yeah. We co-located uh, with a, a large visibility, a big event organized by ESC. We co-located, we added an extra day where we run a SciGaia workshop named Open Science for Research Without Frontiers. And we did this in Addis Ababa. And again, we run events and we got outcomes and uh, actions for the futures. At that time, um, I was presenting uh, the, uh, uh, the third e-research ACFEST that we ran in November 2016 in Lagos, Nigeria. And there was uh, so much interest that, that, that we accommodated at the very last moment the participation of two people from Ethiopia to Lagos, Nigeria. They spent there two weeks uh, and as I showed you in my previous presentation, they implemented the first uh, pilot of the open access repository. And then second outcome, there was, a, there was an interest in running the e-research ACFEST in Ethiopia and we did it. In February 2017, we came here for two entire weeks and uh, we ran this uh, uh, intensive uh, training event. And the outcome was that several services and applications were deployed and developed. Some of them were the, first, uh, the very first prototypes of today's NADRA services. Then, uh, Ethernet joined uh, the Ubuntu Net Alliance. They uh, proposed to host uh, the annual event of the Ubuntu Net, which is called Ubuntu Net Connect. And this happened in November last year in Addis Ababa. Um, e e Ethernet uh, uh, hosted the Ubuntu Net Connect conference. And uh, the conference was preceded by a workshop named uh, Towards an African Open Science Platform Infrastructure Framework. And again, events and action. The action was that the Minister of Education attended the workshop and he was uh, so interested that uh, he announced later on the news the decision to create a National Academic Digital Repository of Ethiopia. And this was actually the time when the NADRE concept started. Then we discussed uh, to, to raise awareness about NADRE and to launch the initiative as a kickoff conference. And uh, this took place in February this year, again in Addis Ababa. This was another kickoff conference. By the way, all these are links. So you can, if you, when you will get uh, the presentation, you will, you, the presentations will be on the agenda. You will be able to follow the links and go to the agendas of those events and get all the presentations, all the information. So the another kickoff conference uh, was held in February with the participation of international experts. And after that, JZ opened a tender for a service provision for the actual implementation of NADRA. Uh, I bid for the tender, and actually my bid was, the bid of, of my team was, uh, won the tender, and, for the, and the, the actual implementation of the NADRA started. The terms of reference of the consultancy includes four workshops to be done at four focal points in, uh, in, uh, in Ethiopia. And uh, Gondar, Aksum, Jima, and Dilla were selected as uh, the points of these four workshops. And this is why we are here for the second workshop. Um, between June and now, um, another important event, a kind of Nadre side event that took place in Gondar. This was led by 
uh, Dr. Paolo Budroni from the University of Vienna. And the workshop was on research data stewardship and e-infrastructure for Ethiopian stakeholders. This was an event more focused on legal aspects of uh, open, open access and open data, on data management plan, on data stewardship. And again, this is all this all the slides, all the presentations are stored on the agenda system on the very same on the on the same event management system where you can find the, the you, you, you can find the agenda of today and tomorrow. So another mission. The mission is to provide researchers, lecturers, students and stakeholders from outside of the academic world access to all researchers' works published by Ethiopian universities and research institutions. All public and private universities, as well as research institutions, will contribute to the NADRA and will provide all citizens access to it. In order to complement and feed the NADRA, each Ethiopian university is encouraged to build its own repository and to provide the, the uh, Ethernet access to that university and uh, to provide Ethiopian uh, uh, Ethernet uh, access to that university repository in order to harvest and amalgamate the publications from these repositories to the central national repository. Those universities that are not currently able, able to dis establish their own repository, this is, as we heard this morning, is not the case of Axum, but could be the case of other universities, uh, Ethernet will provide support to deploy their own institutional repository. However, each university will be responsible for the curation of content stored in their own repository. So, NADRE has different stakeholders, the Minister of Education for the policies, as we discussed, GIZ has provided fund funding so far, and then a virtual cycle uh, where Ethernet, ESC and the Ethiopian universities play the important roles. So, what are the objectives of NADRE? to increase the access of academics and citizens in Ethiopia and worldwide to research works published by Ethiopian researchers at one of the Ethiopian universities or research institutions. To foster the dissemination of research outcomes and make them, as well as their authors, more visible inside and outside the country. And to spread, to spread completed research to other corners of the country to allow other researchers to build on the concept of sharing and reuse. Uh, we will start with uh, thesis, dissertation, journals with publications, but uh, there are discussions that we have seen to move to data and other components of the research, research life cycle. And all artifacts will be published under open licenses. Licensing, you will see in the next presentation, is a very important aspect because uh, um, I want to underline once more Open data, open access doesn't mean free data, free access. So license is the way to protect IPR and authorship and visibility of the Ethiopian researchers. And all the artifacts will be tagged with digital object identifiers. You have seen already because the value of using digital object identifiers. So the work plan, we had four activities. Prepare and contribute to the implementation of the, com of the pre, pre and of the conference with pre and post conference workshop. This actually was done even before the start of the consultancy in February. Uh, elaborate the training plan. This was done. The training plan includes these workshops and also a series of webinars, remote web based events. And tomorrow I will tell you how you can uh, 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 um, attend the virtual room and uh, participate to this web-based webinars after our tour in Ethiopia. So starting from the beginning of the following week, not the next one, but the other one. So there will be, uh, there is a calendar of webinars. Everybody is welcome to attend, to provide, uh, to, uh, to raise issues and to get uh, solutions and support. Uh, conduct a workshop series. This is the, the agenda has been defined, and this is what we are doing right now, and we will complete this at the end of next week. Uh, we, will, we will be going to Jima, beginning of next week, and to Dilla at the end of next week. So four workshops 
in two weeks. And then establish another website and manual with all the necessary information to, uh, to, to, to let librarians, IT staff, to learn on their own pace and use NADRA services. Not only experts, users, but also end users, students and researchers. A lot of training material has been already created and made available. I'll show you uh, how you can access this and actually use this. So tomorrow you will play with Enzon using material which is already available on the web, on the NADRA website. Okay? So, the expected outcomes, the kickoff conference, this was done. All universities uh, should have their own digital object identifier prefixes. We will, uh, we will uh, uh, talk tomorrow about DOIs. So even if the University of Axum wants to keep their own uh, institutional repository, uh, we, we have uh, documentation and support to let the University of Axum a tag every single record with a DOI for discoverability, citability, findability, and reusability. Um, all researchers, participants have their ORCID IDs. We, uh, we have seen the vice president proudly showed his ORCID ID. Tomorrow, uh, every uh, one of the tutorials is to register to ORCID, and all of you will be guided to create your own ORCID profile. Why this? Because you will be able to connect the, your publications, your works stored on the NADRA repository to your, ORCID provide, to, 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 to your ORCID profile for maximum visibility, to increase your visibility. Uh, so, train university librarians and library ICT staff in the use of maintenance of repository. Tomorrow we will uh, show you uh, how to do this. Um, you have uh, basically two options. Either people will submit uh, um, documents to the NADRA repository or they will submit it to your repository and then you have to put in place a procedure that periodically, every night, for example, pushes the, the, your, your records to the NADRA repository. And tomorrow afternoon there will be a, spe a special advanced tutorial and uh, targeted to IT staff, especially programmers. So tomorrow afternoon we will show how to push, how to use a computer program to publish data on NADRA. So that you can run your computing program here, take the records from your repository and publish them on the NADRA repository on a cron job basis. Training plan. This basically has been done. We we are writing. We will write the reports from these events and uh, from the workshops, and uh, another website and manual. This is done. The website and manual have been released. Of course, this is in progress because during the webinars you may suggest changes or additions. So. Responsibilities. NADRE is a joint project with different stakeholders, so each of the stakeholders has responsibilities. So, these are the responsibilities of Ethernet to provide the space on the cloud, to provide technical support, to do the programming necessary for the NADRE to be fully accessible in operation, to manage the creation of DOI sub prefixes, to inform university and research institution how to request and obtain a DOI prefix, and to train local IT staff. Uh, we are in the process of handing over all this to Ethernet. There will be a session with Mario, UL, Mequanent, Elena later this afternoon. We are handing over all this, and we have heard this morning from Elena that. Uh, Ethernet is providing cloud-based resources for the NADRA services already. Uh, ask, um, oops, sorry, to coordinate between universities and research institutions, to advise users how to work with the NADRA, how to get ORCID ID, and how to link research works to the ORCID profiles. You will see this in actions, and then there are also procedures to do that. To organize workshops, and actually this is what ESC has, has done, is the main organizers of these four workshops, and I think that others will be needed in the future and they will be organized. 
and of course ESCA by mandate should report towards the Minister of Education, which is the owner, the real owner of the NADRE initiative. Universities. What are the responsibilities of the Ethiopian universities participating to the NADRE project? Uh, those universities and research institutions which already have a repository, Axum is one of them, will provide access to it in order to accommodate it within the NADRE repository. So the, all the procedure to move, to copy records from your repository to the central one. To disseminate among researchers the standards necessary to accommodate research works to the NADRE repository. So all the documentation, you will be able to reuse it and to share within your university with your uh, users. To promote the creation of ORCID IDs among all the researchers. To manage the issuance of DOIs to tag research documents. You will see tomorrow how to do this. And you should, this, you should do this already for the 1,600 1, books that uh, you mentioned this morning, you will be tagging with official DOIs and move to the central repository. And to handle the license issue with the researchers, this is very important. We will be discussing licenses tomorrow, but uh, this is very important that you inform your users, your researchers, about uh, the importance of the, uh, assigning license, licenses uh, to any research product that will be stored on the open access repository to protect the investment, to protect the intellectual property and to protect the authorship of Ethiopian researchers. To run the plagiarism check, this is very good because if everything is on the open access repository, it will be very easy to spot the duplicates. And of course, librarians will be in charge of uh, checking whatever is committed, uploaded, before making it public. And so last but not least, to curate their uh, institutional repository. Those universities which do not have institutional repository, uh, they can use a subset of the NADRE central one, or Ethernet may host an institutional repositories at their premises. So you don't, if you don't have the, the, the manpower or the skill or any other problems, uh, Ethernet is committed to provide you resources to host your own repository, not in your universities, but at Ethernet premises. So, website and manual. Uh, what I'm, what I'm, I'm showing you now is the NADRE website. This is the entry point to all NADRE services. Uh, tomorrow, I will, tomorrow I hope you will bring your laptops, your computers, because this is, should be in your bookmarks, because this is the entry point for everything. And this is the, the website, nadreweb.ethernet.edu.et. This is the entry point, this is the website of NADRE, with everything, will con it already contains, but it will contain everything related to the initiative. Tomorrow we will browse this and we will go to the different pages. Okay. Second most important link, you can access the link I'm going to show in a moment, also from, the, from this side, clicking on documentation, this is the documentation. This is the entry point of the documentation. As you can see, I mean, well, it's very difficult to see, but you will see tomorrow in detail. The documentation is divided in two sections. One for users. Users mean uh, uh, students and researchers. And for experts. Expert means librarians, IT staff. Okay? So, here you can find presentations, Videos, documentations, exercises, everything. 